recently congress has mandated that all branches of the military review policies that restrict female members serving. open all their ground combat units to women by the end of this year. kind of mandating that we look into fields like infantry or artillery or tanks are areas that females have not. in april two thousand fifteen four hundred students began a sixty one day combat leadership course known as ranger school. It is considered one of the most elite infantry schools in the U.S. military. For the first time in history, 19 women were allowed to take the course. This is a story of one. My name is Lisa Jaster. I'm originally from Plymouth, Wisconsin, and I'm a major in the Army Reserve. My mother has more energy than any woman who's ever walked this earth. And when we were little kids, she used to tell my brother and I all the time, don't ever say I should have, I could have, or I would have. The typical day, my alarm goes off at four o'clock every day. I get up, have a snack, go straight to the CrossFit box. I'm usually there around 4.30, and I open it up and start my workout. After that, I head to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, where my husband meets me. We have a babysitter who comes and watches the kids while they're sleeping so that he and I can do jujitsu together in the morning, come home and start taking the kids to school. We come into the house, eat our breakfast, and each go our own ways to work. So I'll fly on Saturday, only five days away. My son is six, six and a half, so he's excited about it, and he thinks it's wonderful, and he loves bragging about this. And then every once in a while when I tuck him into bed, he'll say something like, I'm already proud of you, Mommy. You don't have to do this. We push our kids to try everything, even the three-year-old. She's, um, she's out with Daddy, shooting her bow all the time. And, you know, my son will also say, he knows why I'm doing it. He knows that to be a good Mommy, to be somebody who wants for kids to reach for the stars, I've got to do it too. And he's very bright. I'm happy because she's trying new things and I'm um, scared because I, I, don't hurt, I don't want her getting hurt. I think the biggest thing that affected everybody was me cutting my hair. And I came home and my son was like, Mommy, you're still beautiful on the inside. <laughs> How terrible. I look at Lisa just in awe all the, all the time because her level of commitment and her dedication to everything that she does in life, not just ranger school, is just something to just want to copy and duplicate. She just is very focused. I remember when she said, I want to go to ranger school. How are you going to handle this with a full-time job at Shell? You're coaching here and you've got jujitsu and your CrossFit training. and. And she just said, this is something that I want to do. And we never, ever once doubted that it was something that she could not do. I mean, of all the people in the world that I could think of to go to ranger school and excel, I think Lisa Jaster can do it. If you get on the plane and make it to Georgia, you know, you're already a winner and you've done things uh, that most people couldn't possibly dream of. And so, you know, from here on out, you know, this, in my mind, the stress is off. She's already done awesome things for her country and for the Army in general and for women. Uh, so I'm anxious to see how it plays out. And I think if, I think I agree with her, if she can stay healthy, she's got a really good shot to make it. People that I haven't stayed in touch with that have reached out to me after 15 years and said, I'm not sure how I feel about women in the infantry. I'm not sure how I feel about women at Ranger School, but I know how I feel about you. And if you make it across Victory Pond, I'll be there at your graduation. To include a very old friend sending me his Ranger tab and a very neat note. He's got a daughter and he wrote me a note saying, I thought my daughter would be the first female Ranger, but I hope it's you.